Jimbo Fisher came to the podium and talked real fast, and it was really hard to understand because every time I tried to write something down, he's already three words ahead of me, and I couldn't keep up. And, all, and this is just how he is, and this is how he talks, and, and it's just going to be a constant uh, going on. And he, he gave a lot of coach speaking and wouldn't answer questions because he had Bobby Petrino as the new offensive coordinator, and he wouldn't talk about who's going to be calling plays and who's going to be helping with the game plan and just and how everything was. And if you can understand that, you're doing better than me because I was just sitting there like, whoa, where's the fire? Let's slow down and have a conversation here. But he 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 did emphasize he does like this year's leadership team and how they're pulling together and how they're they're you know behind the scenes working toward towards the common goal. And this team does have something to prove. They've got a chip on their shoulder because of last year's hype compared to last year's results, this year's team is out to showcase that they can and will do this. And he is smart about something, and a lot of us need to apply this to our own lives. Worrying ain't going to solve the problem. Worrying ain't going to make it better. And yes, I use the phrase ain't gonna. Find a solution and work towards it. That's the only way it's going to get better. Now, a couple things he actually did say, because he did give a lot of just, I'm just not going to go that route type of questions. He did mention he loves the running back backfield. They're loaded with talent. They're all power. They're all speed. And they all have hands that can catch out of the backfield. And that makes him really excited. And also, returning back, because he had an incomplete last season with injuries and just nicked up, is their starting center, Roberts. And he's really looking forward to his contributions and leadership towards not just the offensive line, but the offense as well. That's Texas A&M's recap. What are your thoughts? Like, follow, and thanks for watching.